Hi, I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre from Johnson & Wales University, and today we're going to do a salt-boiled potato dish with three sauces. It's springtime, the new baby potatoes are out. Uh, we have three types that we're going to work with today. We have some Yukons, some Reds, and some Purple Peruvians. This is a super simple dish when you want to mix up your potato repertoire. So, you know, maybe you're doing the same old potato salad, mashed potatoes. This is something that's interesting, unique, and super simple. So what I take is I take some boiling water and I take about four parts of water to one part of salt. So we're going to add all this salt to the boiling water. We're going to stir it around a little. It's not going to dissolve completely. Don't worry about that. There's too much salt for it to completely dissolve, but you're going to get a, most of it. That's the whole point. And when that's at a boil, we're going to add our potatoes. and then just let them boil away. When they come to a boil, we'll reduce it down to about medium high heat, but you want them to boil up just nice. And you're gonna to start to see residue around it. That's part of it, don't worry. So in the meanwhile, let's start making our three quick sauces. And so we're gonna start with a garlic butter. Super simple. Get some butter, melt it down. We're gonna add some garlic too while we're at it. Some thin sliced garlic. So we'll just get that going. We'll let that go down. Also in the meanwhile, so we're gonna have a butter with garlic. We're gonna have a sauce, something spicy. So I like to make a sriracha mayo. This is super simple. All we do is we take about three parts of mayo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To about one part of sriracha sauce. You can use any type of hot sauce that you like, but that's super simple. And you know, you adjust to the spicy. Do you like it super spicy? Add more. Do you like it less spicy? Add less. Perfect. So now we have one sauce down. This is at a boil, so we're gonna turn this down to about medium. This one's boiling away, so now we're gonna make the hardest. So we're gonna make a cilantro mojo. So these are some chopped up fresh cilantro. We're gonna add a little garlic, or a lot of garlic if you like. Um, I'm gonna add for a little heat, add some serranos. So then I like the cumin flavor, that is a very typical of mojo flavors. Let's have a little cumin, some salt and pepper, a little pepper here, a little salt. We're gonna add some red wine vinegar. You could add sherry vinegar, whatever vinegar you have. Don't use balsamic, that, that'll make it, that's a little too sweet. You want something tart and then a little olive oil. And this is gonna be a dish that's very loose. It's not pureed and it's something that they can spoon over really nicely. Again, it's a nice balance to the richness of the potato. We're just releasing the flavors of the garlic. We turned it off the heat and now we'll let it sit. This sauce can be made ahead of time also if you'd like. So meanwhile, the potatoes are going away. We'll add that up. And these potatoes for this much, especially small potatoes, they should take about 10 to 15 minutes. And then the key is, is we just drain them and then we let them air dry for about 10 minutes. And what happens is they will start to crystallize on top from the so much residual salt. So we'll take a look at those through the magic of TV. Can you pass me those? So as you can see, these potatoes already have a nice salt crystal around them. And what happens is the water is boiling at a higher heat. You're going to get a high, higher boil. It's going to be quicker boiled, the salt in there, and it and it makes the texture of the potato so creamy. I mean, you were tasting one today, yeah. right? It was pretty amazing. It was. Like, you think you've had potatoes before and then you eat these and you're like, wow. You can see the crystals, you leave them on, that's kind of the wow factor for your party or as a side dish. And you didn't have to use any special salt, correct? No, that's, a, that's right. I just use, happen to use kosher salt because I always do, but you can use any salt. You can see the salt going around the crystals here. This cleans up super quickly, so don't worry about it. And then what you do, here, I'll let you, have one. Oh, thank you. And then you can dip in the sauce that you like. Which I'm one do you think you're going for? One. All right. Before. Perfect. And I'm going old school. This is called the Syracuse salt <laughs> potato and butter. Can't oh, go wrong God. with salt potato and butter. Right. It's delicious. Okay, you can find this and all recipes on our website. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre. Let's dig in.